Hello friends, how are you? This is Mi Jimenez from Spain. Um, a couple of months ago I made a, a nice long video about how to make a, how to paint a T34 turret for a Taiwan contest uh, where I explained many techniques. Um, between some of them uh, I explained it very well how to use the oil brassers, uh, making uh, different techniques. So I decided to, to make a short version of that video and show you only the part with the old brassers uh, because many people are asking us about how to use them. So I hope you can find it uh, interesting and useful for your models. So that's all. Enjoy it. Okay, uh, this is the first step of the process. Uh, now will be time to start using the oils, like I showed you in the beginning. Uh, the oil brasser is a, a very innovative product. It's, uh, it's something really cool. I think that many modelers will love it because it's uh, easy to use. It's, a, it's like a new, like a new age of uh, for the for the oils. Until now, all modelers were using were using uh, conventional oils like those okay and yes this is what happened no? when when you have oils that get very dirty it's uncomfortable uh, uh, they break easily um, it's very thick you must thin down with thinner you must put in a cardboard to absorb the oil uh, and sometimes it's not the best part of the weathering process no? so uh, a good solution is the the new old brasser what is the difference? Well, the, the main difference is uh, the bottle, as you can see. This is not metal, this one doesn't break. Mm, what, uh, another thing that is uh, even more important is that it's transparent, totally transparent, so you can see the color. doesn't matter which one, you always can see the color that you are using. So it's very, very easy to find the right shape for your model. The color also is um, already prepared uh, to be used in your model. Uh, you, you, you just need to thin down, just shake it, and it is ready for application. And surprise, the most important is the beautiful brass that is inside. And the oil, is ready for your model. Mm. Another aspect that makes uh, comfortable that uh, this new tool is uh, that the, the top of the heart have a small, how to say, a small mechan mechanism uh, to remove the excess of oil when you are extracting the brass, like this now. So you just take the right amount of color that you need and you always keep clean everything. You don't need to, uh, to, to remove the excess of oil, you don't need to, uh, to see which color is, <laughs> is this one, because sometimes the, the sticker in the, in the oil doesn't tell you uh, if the color is this one or is totally different. This is very, very common in, the, in almost all oils. So I think, guys, that uh, this uh, will be uh, the end for this old style paints, which is maybe appropriate for artists, but not for modelers anymore. So, let's see how to work with that uh, beautiful <laughs> thing. I, I love it. Everybody that has tried are in love for this uh, new method. Um, I hope you like it too. But anyway, we will work with the oils. We will see uh, what to do with them. Um, and then, take your opinion about it. So how we can use the oil brassers in the same way than the oils, the standard oils. For example, we can use the, the oils to create shadows and other effects. Let's go to use the, the blue, it's a dark blue. We can make some shadows around some areas, which uh, will create a nice volume. One more time the oil is ready to be used. Eh? 
Don't forget it to shake it very well. For example, we can apply under the mantlet to create some shadows. We will blend later with a with the brass and thinner, for example, under the knit, under the gun barrel, and around another areas, like the periscope. Another good thing that when you finish to, to paint with this color, you don't need to clean the brass like we made before with the standard oils. You just take the next color and ready to be used again with a new brass. You will save a lot of time with that. For example, with the brown color, we can make some small dots in some areas. For example, to, to, to create rust. Many people like to, to use also the dot technique, the typical that you make small dots in the surface and then you blend it. You can do with the old brasher faster than with the standard oils. Okay, another color, for example, the classic buff eh, for, uh, for create highlights. Shake it. And remember, this is a standard oil, but just uh, prepared for modeling. For example, with this one, we can create uh, some highlights in some areas. Here. Another color that we can use, the green, okay. But uh, what is the most impressive is how fast you can chain and switch from one color to the other. So easy, so fast. Especially if you forgot to, to apply any color in some areas, just take the bottle again, open and, and ready for application. You don't need to, to, to use the old method with the classic oils. And finally, uh, I like a lot this color, that is very cool, it's uh, very useful to make uh, little effects, even shadows. For example, for the ring of the turret can be very useful, apply this color in some random areas too. Observe how accurate is the brass, it's really thin. So you can paint in, in very small areas uh, without use a classic brass, no? and you can go faster. Uh, now. It's done now, it's not so ugly like this, of course, and now we must blend the color. 
um, and is the the most important part in all process when we are working with the oils. You know? So we can use a, this a standard brass or even a thicker one. This one could be very interesting. Oh, sorry, this one mm, could be nice. Let's try. So just humidify with thinner, like we made before with the washes, and blend it, especially in the vertical areas. For people who want to make the, the dot oil technique, So easy. Of course, if you are working in your home, you will go slowly, taking your time because I am working fast for the for this paint demonstration for for AFB Club and for all Taiwanese people. But not only for from Taiwan, but also from other parts of Asia, from Vietnam. From, from Japan, probably my friends from Tokyo and Osaka will be there. I will miss them. But this is a way to stay with them online. They will understand. Okay? With the oil also it's uh, important to let dry few minutes and then it's more easy to blend it because the brasser is prepared for modeling of course the formula is not the same than the oils but work almost in the same way so easy to blend the color Look at that, very nice effect, almost like made with eyebrows, but was made with oil. As you can see, I am continually cleaning the brass, always with the, with the paper, I will show you here. Uh, I am taking the thinner, removing the excess with the, with the tissue paper, and go to the oil, blending the color very slowly with a small quantity of thinner. If you work with too much thinner, the oil will expand in all directions and will be more difficult to, to work with it. Maybe Many of you will stay thinking right now that maybe it's too colorful, too many colors, plus the modulation in the base color. And maybe some of you will, will stay thinking that uh, it's not realistic. In the first point you are right, it's not realistic. It's just for fun, it's just to make a, a model attractive for your eyes. And this especially works very well in the contest, in the model shows. When you make a model uh, painted with this technique, you can see a big difference with the rest of the models in the table, no? where, where the other models are painted just in a base color, very flat and boring. This technique uh, gives uh, to your model a lot of life. So, in one side you are right, this is not realistic, this is the eternal 
and classic polemic and, and discussion around the world. If the modulation is real or not, of course I can tell you it's not real, but it's wonderful. I enjoy a lot when I am painting modulation, especially for some kind of uh, subject, not for everything, not for vehicles with a complex camouflage, but just when the model is painted in a single color, like this, in this case, the modulation works very, very well. And in combination with the oils, you can make fantastic things. In fact, in some areas of the, of the world, some modelers are more colorful than in another, in another. For example, I know that in Korea or in another Asian countries, the modelers like to apply a lot of variation in the colors and make their models more attractive than in some part of Europe where the modelers are more uh, classic or conservative. So this is a matter of taste, no? depending what you want to do, how you want to enjoy the modeling. But the other part that I wanted to explain to you about all of this technique is that all of this become, become uh, realistic when you apply the last steps of the weathering. When you apply the dust, the chipping, the rust, all of those effects that make different your model will blend all colors and will make more realistic your model. So this is why I try to explain you, don't be shy, try to exaggerate with no fear, because the next steps will unify everything. Okay? Here we go. We already have. Perfect blending. Okay. Here we have the turret. As you can see, full of variation, full of colors. We made everything with the old brasser. This is just only one application, one example. But it's really cool. It's very, very interesting. For you can work very fast with them so clean, it's, it's not a mess like the classic oils. Uh, you can see the color are totally transparent, which is fantastic. And the brass made the difference. The brass helped you to go faster and to save your time cleaning your brasses. Anyway, this is just another step. Uh, of course, if you prefer to make with the classic oils, the technique is exactly the same. So don't worry for that. Uh, but just I wanted to show you an innovation, something new and fresh, no? that, uh, especially in the last days in the world, uh, seems like we are uh, lack of ideas or of new concepts. Yeah? So I think that was a nice opportunity to start with all of you this new tool. Anyway, now is uh, time for another thing. So I hope uh, you like it. And one more time, I am sorry that I was not able to stay with all of you in Taipei. Uh, but I promise you to stay there as soon as possible. And thank you very much to, to stay with me during this time. Uh, I hope you enjoy now the, the rest of the event. And um, I hope you, you like it. That's all, guys. Thank you very much. And see you next time in your country. Thank you. Bye-bye.